Hi, I'm James DeWeese, and you're watching APTV. Back in like 1997, I was sitting in a coffee shop with uh, two of my friends, and they had this Christian band, and the band was called the Sky Kings, and uh, they couldn't keep the name the Sky Kings because there was already another Christian band called the Sky Kings, so, which is weird because, I mean, have you heard of the Sky Kings? No, <laughs> not then, not now. But uh, so they were trying to come up with new band names. And at this time, I was playing in a band called Coalesce. Um, it started tinkering around with a band called the Get Up Kids. Um, and we're sitting at the coffee shop, and I would go there and like write down these stupid stories and stuff on notepads because I was, you know, a nerd. Um, sitting there, and I'm like, well, I'll help you guys come up with band names. And so the first name that came out on paper that stuck out to me was, why don't you call your band Common Denominator? And then instead of being Christian, you could be from Norway and you could sing about all kinds of amazing stuff. And they were like, nah, we don't like that. But I circled it and put it in my pocket. The next one, we're sitting there and I, I mean, some of the names were just really, really stupid. I don't really remember the other ones because I didn't circle them and put them in my pocket. But the next one was uh, Fluctuation. Where I was like, oh, you guys could just, you know, call yourselves Fluctuation, but spell it with an X instead of a C. And they're like, no, no, we don't like that. So I put that one in my pocket too. And uh, I'm like trying to come up with these other names, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, uh, Dougie at the Total Experience, Reggie at the Total Experience, blah, blah, blah. And I remember this t-shirt that I saw on a guy named Joel that said, in full effect. And it was like, I always loved that shirt. So I said, how about you call yourselves Reggie and the full effect? And then there can be one guy that's Reggie. And then the rest of you would be the full effect, kind of like the E Street Band. And they were like, that is the stupidest name I've ever heard of in my life. Like, thank you for wasting an hour of our time. And they're like, this is real life, James. Like, we're really getting, we have to change the name of our band. I was like, okay, well, if you don't want my help, fine. So, love those guys to death, but nothing ever became of their band. And I kept Reggie in the full effect and just kind of put out, you know, started recording demos. And just the first name that came to the top of my head was Reggie in the full effect. So, released the four song cassette tape demo, got attention from it, go to record, greatest hits 84 to 87. It goes really well. While in the studio the next time to record promotional copy, I remembered that I had this like kind of techno-y song, sort of. And just for like for fun, I put it on and went in the vocal booth and started singing. And I don't know why, but it came out with a really bad British accent. And at the end of it, I mean, it was all completely ad-libbed, like the lyrics to uh, Gloves are made up on the spot. Like it's just you know today's my find a girlfriend day was right there uh but so when it was done and i turned the record in they were like oh well what's this song i was like oh no that's not reggie that's that's the uh, that's fluctuation and they're like who's fluctuation they're like oh they're a british pop band blah 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 and vagrant were like all right fine whatever one nice thing about vagrant records they always let me kind of get away with whatever i wanted to when it came to reggie because then i mean you know under the tray came out and they let me hide the CD underneath the tray. When I, when I first pitched that to them, they were like, uh, I don't know how we're gonna do this. It's gonna cost like an extra dollar for someone to pop it out and stick it in. And then we figured out that you could make it a, a, a dual CD thing and just not put one CD in it. So at the same time of confusing the shit out of people, we also saved a bunch of money on not having to put a second CD in the case.